rejecting the U.S. ban, Dutch ASML publicly declared, we will export DUV lithography machines to China. What happened to Dutch ASML? Don't get excited when you see this news. As we all know, the Netherlands ASML is the world's most powerful lithography machine manufacturer. In the process of the United States implementation of the semiconductor industry blockade against China, the Netherlands ASML has also become an accomplice of the United States. In 2019, an EUV lithography machine ordered by SMIC from ASML has not been received so far. To say that ASML dares to blatantly violate the US chip blockade order against China, he really has no such courage. Although ASML is a Dutch lithography machine manufacturer, the core light source technology of its most cutting-edge EUV lithography machine comes from the American Sima Company whose Chinese name is Shimeng Semiconductor Equipment Company, Limited. For a lithography machine, the core technology is the light source. Without a light source, semiconductor lithography is just water without sources and trees without roots. Sima is the world's only supplier of extreme ultraviolet light sources. As long as Sima cuts off the supply of extreme ultraviolet light sources, ASML's EDU lithography machine cannot be built. China's high-end chips are stuck in the neck of the lithography machine by ASML, and the ASML lithography machine is stuck in the neck of the extreme ultraviolet light source technology by the United States. The United States used a set of long-armed combos to fight cattle across the mountain, which also stuck China's neck. To this day, Many Chinese netizens still can't tell the difference between EUV lithography machine and DUV lithography machine. The biggest difference between the two is that the EUV lithography machine uses an extreme ultraviolet light source which can be used to mass-produce high-end chips below 14 nanometers. The DUV lithography machine uses a deep ultraviolet light source and its limit is to mass-produce 28 nanometer mid- to low-end chips. The Dutch company ASML rejected the US ban and planned to export DUV lithography machines to China, not the most cutting-edge EUV lithography machines. So why is ASML exporting DUV lithography machines to China? There are three main reasons for this. One is that ASML wants to make money from China. At present, the global chip market is polarized. On one side, the supply of high-end chips below 14 nanometers is in short supply, and on the other side, there is a serious surplus of mid- to low-end chips above 28 nanometers. According to Korean media statistics, among the top 100 global chip manufacturers, mainland manufacturers account for 42. However, mainland chip factories mainly produce mid to low end chips above 28 nanometers, and high end chips below 14 nanometers are almost monopolized by TSMC and Samsung. Chinese manufacturers have exploded production capacity in the field of mid to low end chips above 28 nanometers, directly drying up the production capacity of mid to low end chips. Production capacity has soared, prices have plummeted output is large, and profits are low. It is typical of large but not strong. The profit of one TSMC exceeds that of all chip factories in mainland China combined. After the overcapacity of mid to low end chips, ASML's DUV lithography machine is not easy to sell. The world's largest manufacturing industry cluster for chips above 28 nanometers is in China and only China still has the market space to increase orders for DUV lithography machines. ASML has made it clear that it is uniting with the United States to intimidate Chinese chip factories and create a false impression that the United States is not allowed to sell, and the Netherlands ASML prefers to sell in order to speed up the inventory clearance of DUV lithography machines. But for more advanced EUV lithography machines, Chinese manufacturers want to buy them, and they don't even have doors. 
The second is that Shanghai Microelectronics has successfully developed the first domestic 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine, and the first delivery will be next year. This is the old way of Western technology blockade against China. When China doesn't have it, Western companies either sell at sky-high prices and make huge profits, or they block technology and prohibit them from selling. But once China develops it, they immediately cut prices, dumped at low prices, occupied the market in advance, and squeezed the living space of Chinese domestic enterprises. The same goes for lithography machines. Shanghai Microelectronics has just developed a 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine, and the Netherlands ASML announced that it will resolutely export DUV lithography machines to China on a large scale despite the opposition of the United States. However, the EUV lithography machine that China really needs is not mentioned at all. Don't look at ASML's insistence on opening the market to China but in fact it is dumping at a low price, stabbing a knife on China's domestic lithography machine. The third is that DUV lithography machines are less dependent on American technology. The DUV lithography machine uses a deep ultraviolet light source, and there are three suppliers in the world that can provide deep ultraviolet light source technology, namely Saima in the United States, Gigafatan in Japan and Kei Hongyuan in China. That is to say, the DUV lithography machine can completely get rid of American technology. ASML wants to sell it, but the United States cannot stop it. However, everyone has also seen that the core deep ultraviolet light source technology of DUV lithography machine can also be domestically produced in China. At present, the only defect of Shanghai Microelectronics is that the production capacity of DUV lithography machine is insufficient, and it cannot be supplied on a large scale. At this time, the Dutch ASML showed goodwill to China, but in fact it was a honey sword, hiding a knife in a smile. Many people have no confidence in the technological breakthrough of China's lithography machine and they often say that they want Wutong Baodao to retake TSMC. However, TSMC's EVU core light source technology also comes from the United States. As long as the United States cuts off the supply of extreme ultraviolet light sources, TSMC will become an empty shell. Technical problems, after all, must be solved with technology. In core technology, we have no shortcuts. Since 2019, it has only been three years since the United States blocked Chinese lithography machines. Didn't Shanghai Microelectronics develop a 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine? We must have full confidence in the ingenuity of the Chinese people. From deep ultraviolet light source to extreme ultraviolet light source, from DUV to EUV is not as difficult as everyone thinks. According to the three-generation development model of one generation of mass production, one generation of R&D, and one generation of design, we can believe that after the successful development of the DUV lithography machine, the next generation EUV lithography machine has also entered the research and development process. We just lack some time. At present, the global chip industry is heading for the end of Moore's law, and 2 nanometers is almost the limit. In other words, if there is no major theoretical breakthrough, there is almost no room for the improvement of the chip process. Leading TSMC and Samsung can only wait for us to catch up. The problem of technically stuck necks, we will eventually use technological breakthroughs to solve them. Don't think about taking shortcuts, there are no shortcuts.